untrained eye. A place where the metal of warriors, the uninitiated, and the forgotten are tested. It is here, within these walls, where your true purpose can be found. As if waking from a dream, you find yourself standing in a massive room. The walls curve outward and away from you, as if racing towards infinite possibilities. Before you is a path that slopes upwards to the top of a stone pyramid. A faint bluish hue can be seen emanating from it. Your feet seem to move forward on their own. You are unsure of what is at the top, what causes this light, but somehow trusted. A growing confidence building in your gut is telling you that you are meant to be. At the top, a triangular device sits silently on the floor. It appears to be hewn from a strange metal. Briefly, small traces of light sparkle across the surface, akin to an unclouded starlit night. The path stops over the center of the device, and that is where you choose to stand. Suddenly and silently, the device begins to move. The bluish hue of the top begins to fade as all light seems to fade from existence. You find yourself drawn to looking upward as the last remaining light dwindles. Suddenly, a flash! You feel swept off your feet as lights and colors of black, blues, and purples come pouring into the room from a singular point above you. Marvelous images of constellations, galaxies, and planets trail over your skin as the room seems to stretch and bend. Lightning shoots above and within these images as everything lights up. And then another flash! You find yourself on board a mighty vessel. The name Chosen's Gaze emerges in your mind as you walk to a nearby viewport. You're in space, among stars never named, planets undominated, and stories untold. But amidst all this majesty, there is one jewel that catches your eye, a massive orb-like coliseum in the distance, shrouded in greenery, circled by winged creatures lazily gliding about, waterfalls of endless trail head off the edge, and seemingly disappear among the stars. It is here your ship is headed. It is here where you begin to hear the footsteps of many moving about, the rising cheers and boasts of others. Welcome! A voice can be heard rising in your mind. Many questions you may have, many doubts may slow your step, but here all are equal. Join your voice with others. Raise them in a mighty chorus and write your own story of triumph. Welcome to the Infinite Causeway.
What's up, everybody? Apologies for the late start. I got so caught up in writing and working on uh, behind the scenes, like graphic designs and stuff like that. I completely not only lost track of time, but forgot what damn day it was. So we're starting a little later, but that's all right because we're able to start at all. And of that, I am extremely grateful for. If y'all remember, either for the VOD or if you caught it live last night for the bonus stream, uh, Wrath of the Lich King was moving a little too slow. I already knew that it, the, like the format is a little bit different on the more classic side as opposed to the more retail side of more recent expansions. And it's just like, I wasn't vibing with it. It was putting me to sleep as nostalgic as it was to be back in there. So I'm thinking we go to the uh, Broken Isles, do the Legion side of Chromie Time as well is because I've only ever done the Legion expansion uh, when it was actually on release on my Hunter. So I was like, oh crap, like the class mount, the transmog option for the the weapons for all the other classes i don't i don't have any of those for any of the other classes that i enjoy playing and this is a perfect opportunity to get into doing all of that stuff so we're going to switch gears uh before the stream started i hopped on real quick just to start the quest thank god they let you skip the the whole uh intro thing like i like that's how it should be for so many types of, especially with rpg things where it's extremely lengthy for what you go through whether it's like cutscenes or exposition dumps and stuff like that so you can have the choice to be like you know what i'm gonna go through this or it's like you know what i don't feel like going through this right now so also there's gonna be the appeals like i said i haven't done any of this before in any of the classes besides hunter so i'm really excited to see what the experience is like on the other classes so without further ado let's jump into it see how far we can get uh for for this evening with with our splody mage and yeah kick back relax hope you've got your favorite drink in hand put your feet up and let's enjoy some world of warcraft with uh the i cast fireball mentality all right so Good. let me go talk to it. this guy. i'm afraid we have an escaped dreadlord on our hands i'm sorry what yes let's make haste to the violet hold catherine nathir must not be allowed access to the forge of the guardian honor the tears fallen I was a fool. I thought that I could banish Catherine Atir once and for all, but instead the Dreadlord broke free. In the years he spent trapped within my body, he must have been privy to my secrets, such as those of the Council of Tearsfall. The damage he could do with this knowledge is unthinkable. He must be stopped. Beware the math with you. Catherine Atir escaped my grasp, but I know what his next step will be. He seeks an ancient relic called the Forge of the Guardian, used for centuries by the Council of Tearsfall to infuse their power into the Guardian. The forge was hidden away, its location known only to the council themselves. Now the Dreadlord has this knowledge. We must go to the Violet Hold. I only hope we are not too late. Defeat Catherine Atir in the Violet Hold. Hopefully this isn't like a dungeon thing that I have to the do. The Tyrus Guard must not fail. We must make haste to the Violet Hold. I will explain along the way. In ages past, the forge of the Guardian was a source of great power for the Council of Tyrusfall. Like Medivh? When the Legion learned of the Forge's existence, the Council knew it had to be hidden somewhere safe. It was secreted to the Violet Hold. Not only was this the most secure location in Dalaran, it was a place few would think to look. It seems my fears were well founded. The Dreadlord is already inside. We must hurry! What that dude's staff? It looks pretty cool. Talk to him, or does it just start it up? Nope, here we go. It's over, Dreadlord. Your evil reign ends here. Pitiful wretch. You should have brought an army. 
What can one little mage do against the might of the Nathrezim? Yeah, you can jump, bud. That's real impressive. Are we gonna... Do I have to start fighting? Is that, is that how this is gonna work? The Forge of the Guardian will be mine! Try to keep him occupied. Destroy the siphoning rifts. You will not escape so easily, little mage. Nice work. Now, destroy the rifts, siphoning power from the forge. This was such a crazy idea when it was, uh, was it, was it Northrend when we had to do this? It's working! Activate the forge! Take my power, champion! Hey! This demon back from whence it came! I've had enough of you, Feldstorm. Prepare to meet your end! I could use a little help here! Fool! The Legion will know your secrets. Oh yeah, that's right. Damn, we probably should have trapped him. Count your if he days, dies, he's gonna go back to the void. I will return. Aldai. You gonna say anything, bruh? Hello? You have my ear. Trust and I know what must be done. What? What? What must be done? Y'all gonna let me in on the secret? <laughs> Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Alodai, we need your help. We must take the Forge of the Guardian to a safer location. We will need its might if we are to defeat the Burning Legion. I don't think they may keep it secret from me. The Hall of the Guardian. It pains me to see it in such disrepair. Okay, are we in Karazhan? The Hall hasn't seen any use since the disbanding of the Council of Tirisfall. And is it Zan or Zan? The wards protecting this place are still strong. I think it will serve our needs. And what is your plan? I shall reform the Tiris Guard, and this mage will be its first champion. What say you? Work complete. I will help I that how loop. I can. Who are you again? I know that my name is not well known these days. Once known as Meryl Winterstorm. I was a founding member of the Council of Tirith's Fall, but was required to abandon my duties when I became possessed by the Dreadlord, Catherine Atir. I was able to contain him for the most part, but the risk was too great for me to remain on the Council. Ironic, because if this is... If this is, like, Medivh's Council... Now, granted, if this happened after what happened with Medivh, then I could see it being like, no, no, we're not doing a sequel to this. 
But if it was during, then it would definitely be ironic to be like, no, we can't have anyone containing any spirits in there. But it's like, hey, uh, y'all know your boss is uh, a ticking time bomb, right? Beware the Nathrazim. In times past, the Council of Tears Fall called upon the Tears Guard, the protectors of Dalaran, to do battle in the Guardian's absence. It is clear now that the Hall of the Tears Guard must be rebuilt to face this new threat. I need your help to accomplish this. First of all, you need to show me how to get. I'll need to show you how to get to this hall. The Dreadlords must fall. Put that one here. Foundation of the Tears Guard's strength lies in the ancient artifacts wielded by its champions. Your first task will be to retrieve one such artifact. The master appendix of this library lists every artifact known to the Council of Tears Fall. There should be a few choices in there worth looking into. I will leave it to you to choose which to pr pursue. Honor the Tears Fallen. It's such a bummer. Like you can definitely see how the some of the designs in WoW and in other games are like the focus is. It overlaps with what the companies want and with what the gamers want as far as appeal, but like not a very long lasting kind of appeal. So it's like, oh, how do we get them to get this expansion? So it's in there as in like, how do we get them to open their wallets? Not like, how do we get them in the sense of like, you create a living, breathing, like, you know, fun game. People, the wallet opening will happen naturally. The the character the class halls and everything fantastic idea and then a lot of the stuff that's introduced in some of blizzard's expansions just gets thrown out afterwards like the way that they could have seeded these things into the continuing parts of the uh of the story yeah it would have taken a little bit more work but overall like how it would have enriched the world but that's always the back and forth and sometimes how like good storytelling and you know, classic or more integral RPG elements kind of take a back seat to the more mainstream or like, you know, casual mindset where like you see the inspiration of it to where like they cherry pick certain things to be like, oh, people will like this where it's just enough of like, ooh, but nothing like below a uh, surface level. Flame strike. I see what it looks like. Oh, I gave myself a little, a little sword, a little pokey poke. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a one hand offhand kind of deal. Okay. We've got Ebon Chill. Why'd I get a two hander? <laughs> the heck? And another one that get a cool one too. I'm wondering, will it have any effect? Because unfortunately, when I was reading up on it, I found out that Blizzard deactivated uh, seemingly permanently the special abilities that your relic weapons get, even to the point to where they're they're not useful, even within the chromy time of Legion. So it's like, is it worth it then for me? Do I just go ahead and grab the one that I want the cosmetic look of? Because I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be using it essentially, unfortunately. And it's like, do I want, I think I'm probably going to go with the arcane one. The arcane one looks pretty badass. Aluneth. Yeah, that looks pretty freaking cool and also fits more the the look that I'm going with right now. So yeah, so let's do that. Work complete. Because now there's nothing that like ties into it more or less, even though I'm pretty sure I'm rocking Medivh's staff thing, which looks also badass on its own. You have my ear. Should serve you well in our hunt for the Catherine Tears. Tears. Guard must not fail. The Dreadlord Catherine Tears is defeated, but only for now. If we wish to save Azeroth from his evil, we must reform the Tears Guard. Then we can hunt him down in the Twisting Nether before he has a chance to share his secrets with the Burning Legion. 
Beware the Nathrazim. Aluneth, a powerful and dangerous weapon. If tales are to be believed, Aluneth is actually the name of a very old and very powerful arcane entity, somehow bound to a staff through ancient magic. When Aegwin relinquished Aluneth many years ago, it was entrusted to Kirin Tor, damn, who, fearing its unbridled power, handed it to the Blue Dragon Flight to secure away in secret. Only they would know exactly where it was taken. The Dragon Kalik may be our best chance. He now resides in the Council of Six. Meet Kalik at the Violet the City. The Taming Alaneth will be no easy task. Take these scrolls. Aegwyn used them when she bound Alaneth to her will. Perhaps you can do the same. Return here once you have retrieved the artifact. In the meantime, I'll see about tidying up a bit. Is there a transmog person here in Dalaran? Because that'd be nice. Oh, crap. Yeah, so that's that's what I was wondering. I probably all the other times I Google stuff, I probably should have checked that. I was like, is it gonna change what build I'm doing? I wonder if that has any impact on the quest or not. It's like, bro, I just need the cosmetics. I'm just here for the drip. I'm so glad that the buttons just go right back to how I had them. This world is full of water. So you seek Aleneth, a dangerous weapon to be sure. Long ago, the Kirin Tor entrusted the Blue Dragon Flight with its safekeeping. It was locked away in the only place that could contain its rampant power, the Nexus Vault. I have not been there in some time, however. After the blue dragon flight was dissolved, the nexus was all but abandoned. There's no knowing. Wait, hold on. So y'all put, <laughs> y'all put dangerous stuff in this vault, and then put it in charge of a flight that was that went nuts or split, and some went and followed. Uh, what's his name? Mallet Ghost. And then afterwards, you were just like meh. <laughs> No one should be able to get in. There is no knowing whether the Nexus vault is still intact or what may be waiting in the Nexus itself. Shouldn't y'all... <laughs> what? Is that just so the story could happen? Together we will defend... I feel like this is one of those, like, uh, writer Ryan things, if y'all are familiar with that stuff formerly from Screen Rant. I'm gonna need you to get all the way off of my back about why the Nexus Vault being abandoned isn't a good idea. Oh, we gotta go underground. Take this image crystal, must remain in <laughs> Someone's an image of... Do I have to go right here? Take the Dalaran portal to Worm Rest Temple. Now, now it comes like where all my knowledge and everything is going to be needed. This is like, uh, I don't know. I don't know where stuff is, man. It's crazy to think. This expansion. Twenty sixteen. It's not exactly, but it's close enough. That was eight years ago.
Eight years, Chad. Holy crap. I would like to be able to fly now. Travel to the Azure Dragon Shrine. I remain in service to the Green Dragon Flight. Okay, this stuff looks like it's probably still tied. Do not sleep to... on the job unless I have explicitly asked you to do so. Okay, here we go. Summon Dragon Flight. Hold on. I'm just gonna go over here, just in case. I don't wanna. I don't want anything to mess up. I don't want anything to go wrong. I am listening. Ooh, that's a good look. I have to be friendly Farewell. with the worm rest accord. Man, the amount of times we've cleaned up y'all's mess. Y'all should need to be friendly with us. to do it manually. <laughs> Ew, I have to fly like a peasant. <laughs> Jeez, it couldn't even give me the default uh quest movement speed. Interesting. I, ho I hope this is how it's supposed to be. I'm always paranoid something's gonna go wrong because I can't I can uh can't move the dragon on the what is this the Y axis? Like when I go to angle down, like I don't even know, are you actually going down? I think they're they're doing this. As opposed to normally I would like to be like Nyeow. Like uh Bud. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta feel like it's, it's probably. Granted, I am a mage, so maybe they're expecting me to drop, drop down. But it does, it does seem a bit weird that I can't angle angle the dragon around. I also don't want to get attacked by the big guys, because I think they've they scaled to me. Yeah, they're all 27. Uh, Alright, here's the thing. We're, we're, we're just gonna freaking drop it. Three clues found. Looks like they're using uh, the tech that. What are those traders called? T R A D E R S, not T R A I T O R S. Released when Malagos forced Azeroth's ley lines into the Twisting Nether. The design looks very familiar. Hey, bud. Nobody said get up in my space. That was another one to where I forget what they're called, but uh, would have been really cool. Like, like at this point, we could have had ooh, 28. We're moving. We're moving and we're grooving. Uh, crap, do I not have the, uh, mage, 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 I don't remember even having, uh, X'd out of this. Blast wave. Ooh. The 
put that next to Arcane Explosion, bro. Um, like, at this point, we could have done... We could have had technically four different factions. This portal is very similar to ones used by the Ethereals in Outland. Could they be the threat? Ethereals. There we go. That's what they were called. But yeah, so you could have had... Obviously, Alliance and Horde, and been adding stuff to that. Then, third faction, technical faction, would be like your your Pandarans or your Death Knights. The kind to where it's like you're coming from somewhere else and then joining. So it'd be it'd be like specialty. Like you're still technically already Horde or Alliance. Like your Death Knights are going to be like you're you're separate, but you're still tied to whichever original faction you were before you were given your unlife. Then you'd have the fourth and final faction, which would then be made up of neutral parties who could truly choose whatever side you were going to be on. So your Ethereals, your Valkyr, um, the, what is it, the Tuscar, uh, you could, you could even really get into it if you wanted to and do like, um, the trolls, trolls, or I mean, if you want, if you wanted to bring in the Ettons, you could, you could do it like two different types. Like instead of picking male, female, for some of them, it would change the model, so it, it wouldn't be about gender; it would be about appearance. So, uh, the op you could either it'd be like it'd be the same thing, but you'd pick like, do you want to be an Etten or do you want to be like the two-headed, uh, goofy-looking troll that we're more used to on like the classic side of things like just imagine how cool it would be and like how and you could and then you wouldn't have to be essentially creating new species to use because arguably you'd be making them already in the game you would just have to put in the the extra work of uh giving them skills and stuff like that but i definitely like worgen worgen had been around since what classic they just didn't have like as much like I don't remember how much of the Dark Shore quest line if like all of that is still the same where you're looking for the Death Scythe, but then it blew up and became like a huge thing. Like I think the Druid uh class storyline, isn't it like one of the things that you get to use? I don't know if it's balance or uh what is it, feral or whatnot, but like the class weapon you get is the Scythe of Elune, the very thing that is at the epicenter of what happened to the creation of the Worgen. So it's not like Blizzard is incapable of the storytelling or design to have something uh, like that happen. And then the Worgen went from being randomly run into creatures to where you would either only see them in Darkshore or in Shadowfang Keep to being introduced in Cataclysm like many expansions later to then being a playable class so it's not like this is outside the realm of possibility that they could have uh, gone and done that I think that would have overall like imagined the new life that would have uh, breathed in obviously there would be some some like little snags you'd kind of have to figure out or change like how would pvp work and i feel like that would also help kind of move away from the bland paradigm of like yeah alliance is good even though we know that's not true and oh horde is bad even though we know that's not true um like you could essentially pvp would just be pvp you would just ally with whichever side um it would be a new because it's like the whole like competing for resources is a thing that only barely exists in the story um, and loosely at that. It's really only like when Blizzard needs us to be fighting over resources to where it's like like predominantly this thing of like, grr, give back Ashenvale or grr, give us Ashenvale. Um, but yeah, you Those could just have it to where it's just like dark energies from Red vs. Blue kind of energy. 
whoever wielded it must be seeking to harness void energy. Or, you know, we've how many expansions have we had where it's about we all need to work together? It would be more about actually uh, kind of like the Crucible in Destiny to where it's like, yes, it's competitive. Yes, like you're essentially, you know, healing or hurting each other. But the whole idea is like we're all rising together. Like, so you're you're picking team a team b give them cool names give them all the shinies to like win over as many people as possible to the new change but the idea is less about like we're fighting just because that's the easy story thing and we're fighting because um the, these are mock skirmishes war bands whatever um so that we can be prepared for whatever the enemy of the week is. Um, enemies of the Void, remnants of Sargeras's army, um, you know, and stuff like that. And then I feel like that would make it easier because then you don't have to keep having these new, oh damn, Dragonblade Mage Hunters. Um, you wouldn't have to keep creating uh, reasons for the Alliance and the Horde to hate each other again. Well, that's just my two cents. Yet more evidence of ethereal technology. This may be an unfortunate turn. There's only one way to find out who's really behind this. I mean, it's probably one of the, uh... What is it, trade lords or whatever? Because wasn't that a problem in Outlands? Because they normally their whole thing is like they're a fancier, cooler version, less sleazy of the goblins. They go about it differently and they push for like actual true neutrality, especially since they're kind of still feeling us out, at least in the Outlands time, because we only started to find out they existed until then. Um, and there was like one who was actually corrupt who stepped away from the neutrality. So it's like, it could be something with that. The device still homes with power. It must have been abandoned not long ago. The nearby switch appears to activate it. Activate the ethereal communication device at the Exurer's Dragon Tree. Is it a communicator or is it going to teleport us somewhere? Who dares to... To the prince. Yep, Nexus Prince. What have we here? Another intruder come to claim the treasures of the Nexus Vault. You are too late. Even now, the powers within the vault serve to widen the breach into the twisting nether. With this power, the Ethereum will become unstoppable. We will become void! Y'all become their playthings. So the Ethereum has taken the Nexus, and yet that seems the least of our worries. <laughs> also, love, can we can we acknowledge the fact that this is all happening right next door? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this, y'all. <laughs> the seat of the dragon's power. Both before uh Wrath of the Lich King. Granted, I don't know like how long the whole uh Arthas changing things up kinda kinda shifted things, but like their seat of power after them forgetting until only recently with Dragonflight, that you know, that that was I don't know if that's like their home base where they came from or whatnot. I haven't played any of Dragonflight, so I don't know the story. I can't speak to that to the expansion. But for like Wrath of the Lich King, like that was one of the like the badass lore things. It's finally like, oh, holy crap. This is like the dragon seat of power. This this is, you know, this is where their shrines, this is where they're born, this is where they're buried. Like they've just been like chilling up here at the top of the world. <laughs> the the hole is literally you could look out and be like, hey y'all. Um any of y'all know anything about this weird beam of light that is ripping a hole in uh, the zombie ozone <laughs> layer? No, no, it's not on the docket for, for this week. No, we're, we're talking about this later. Can we put a PowerPoint presentation together? Okay, okay. I, 
yeah, I mean, we've only had like a calamity every couple of years on this new timeline. So <laughs> what's what's waiting a little bit? It's not like, you know, Azeroth has got, you know, things slightly cooking under the radar that have turned into ginormous problems. So do I go back now? It says click to complete. No, it must you recover the weapon you seek, but you must put a stop to the Ethereum as well. Oh, I had clicked that. Maybe I, maybe I had clicked near it or thought I had. Travel at once to Kuldara to be able to tell you how to proceed. Scout out the key locations in Kuldara. Teleports it uses to the Nexus in the Borean Tundra. Hey, look, I am appreciative of this quick, uh, quick travel, being able to get around. Watch this teleport me like right here. You know, I'm pretty sure because it just popped up. It's going to take me. Yeah, there we go. It still would have been really funny if it just like moved me five feet. And I'm like, oh, can I not read? All right, let's see it. Let's see if the flying works a little bit better here. Whatever the ethereals are up to is generating an incredible amount of void energy. They must be using Malagos' surge needles. Fly over to one, and let's take a closer look. Ow. It's like... Something got in my eye. Alright, more void creatures. Oh, and we actually have some ethereal. So yeah, I don't remember which prince it was that we dealt with, or even how many princes there are. The Ethereum have altered the Surge Needles. They are tapping into void energy caused by the Rift. Their power must also be feeding the shield around the Nexus. Let us take a look at the Foundation. Da, 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 da. The vault must be weakened. The energy from your weapon is breaking its way free. This may work to our advantage. One second, Charlotte. Eyes of the Dragon. It seems that the Ethereum has gleaned how to use Malagos' Surge Needles to bore deeper into the Twisting Nether. I believe we might be able to use these devices against them. The energy from Alaneth lashes out from within the weakened Nexus Vault. We may be able to use this raw, chaotic energy to our advantage. If we can harness this energy and feed it into the Surge Needles, it should cause a rather destructive reaction. Excuse me. Empower yourself with the unstable arcane energy by defeating arcane aberrants, or siphoning from breaches of arcane energy around the foundation of the Nexus. All right, so we start destroying the... Hey, it's working now. Look at that. Now I can go up or down. Yeah, see, so I, I wasn't able to do this before. Or technically even this. So I, I, I don't know what changed. But I'm not mad about it. Hopefully that doesn't go away once I once I get off of this guy. Draining, 
draining, draining. Open and try to get him low enough so that I could uh, do scorch. Keep the momentum going. You need to destroy the surge needles. You must act quickly. The theorem won't sit by either. Use your built up unstable arcane energy to destroy the surge needles in Goldara. Work complete. Nope. It doesn't work now. Oh, there we go. Take out the channelers, blow up the needle. I wonder if this scales with whatever your writing speed would be, so since I don't have it yet, I'm moving at 60, but if I came in here with like, what is it, 100 or 280 or was it 310, if I would have that speed, or if you just have 60% flight speed regardless, which would be pretty freaking painful. Oh, good morning, Booboos. You're up. Have a nice snap. Talking to the puppers. Oh no, I'm curious. Are y'all y'all able to I'll figure out that, that camera angle at a later date? So slow. We'll cut through the middle here. I remember thinking it was it was really interesting that um, in both WoW and Diablo, both Blizzard creations, they did the the same format of not necessarily all knowing but whatever aspect is about knowledge and magic is like driven mad 
by some calamity, then turns evil, then the heroes have to go take him out. With Blizzard, it was uh, Malagos with Diablo uh, 3. It ended up being uh, Mouth Ale. I'm trying to think which came first. I think it was... It had to be Malagos, right? If, if you were to quiz me, I don't even remember when uh, Diablo 3 came out. Let's find out. So, Diablo 3. What was it? Something Souls? Yeah, Reaper, Reaper of Souls. That's what I thought it was. I didn't trust myself. March 25th, 2014. Is that right? Let's double check. Yeah, March 25th, 2014. All right, so then, yeah, it was probably definitely Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, Are going to be a date that's going to hurt? Yep. <laughs> November 13, 2008. So Malagos's fall to madness predates Malthael by six years. The shadow of the is lifting. What little mind is this I sense that has freed my consciousness from the ethereal's trap? As your ghost, he must have returned to the Nexus to secure the vault. Malagos always trusted him to watch over the magical artifacts in the care of the flight. I'm afraid I must ask another favor of you. The Nexus vault lies deep beneath the main spire. You will find its entrance in the lowest chamber of the spire's base. The volatile energies within the Nexus seem to be interfering with the image crystal. I fear you may be on your own from here. Good luck. Right, so hopefully this is the last part so we can get the staff. It is cool though. This this is a good example of utilizing making like living breathing world of, you know, um years apart from going through this stuff in Wrath of the Lich King to Legion, and yet here we are uh, coming back to it. I don't know if it qualifies like Sins of the Fathers, but like, you know, old, old problems uh, getting dredged up and needing new solutions. So, the lock on the Nexus has been broken, and by a common adventurer, no less. <clears throat> Will wonders never cease? If you've come to engage me in battle in hopes of obtaining some spurious trinket, I'm afraid you're too late. The Ethereum have taken the bite out of this old dragon, and I fear they have robbed me of anything you would deem useful. If it's looting you desire, as your kind so often does, then I suggest taking the fight to them. How much health do these things have? 161, so we could just arcane blast them down. Ion of Fire. Let's, uh, let's, let's put up a little uh, little spelly spell. Ah, interesting. I wonder, am I at the edge of where I'd be able to do anything? Hey, <laughs> 
seem quite capable. Wait, are you here after them? In that case, I could use a hand. I assume you come seeking the Nexus Vault. Why else would anyone return to this place? Unfortunately, access to the vault is proving difficult. If you help me access the Librarium, I will find a way through. We must not let the Ethereum obtain the artifacts it holds. But first, I think I'll slip into a more comfortable form. These halls were never quite spacious enough for my tastes. Shall we? Which way do I need to go? I mean, there's a gold there, so that's what I'm assuming I need. Is this all the stasis? The, yep, the librarian. The Nexus Vault is weakening. That arcane energy can only mean a Lunath is no longer fully contained. It is a most potent and chaotic weapon. It will lash out at us as we try to approach. Oh. Be prepared. Crap, I went the wrong way. Yo. Blanketed by unstable energy. You might not want to step on that. Damn, is your ghost? Why is your health so minuscule? Leap down? No. Jump into it backwards. Yep. <laughs> Don't you do it. No, no, no. Oh, this is not good. Wow. I just got ping ponged into that stuff. I don't know what's doing damage to him. It was either that or Ice Block. I guess they're probably still casting at me, so... Sir. You just mirrored, did that do a crap ton of damage to me? I don't think I was paying attention, but I thought I had uh, full health there. Good thing I can make my own food. Jump. Yeah, 
so I can cast from here. We're just playing dodgeball with magic from opposite sides. So that's that's what I should have done. I don't know if this one's gonna. Oh yeah, nope, we made it. Perfect. I don't even know if that's the way you're supposed to do it, but we got through. So. I forgot they teleported. We're here. Now let me see if I can find a way into the vault. Is it a trap? As I suspected, the entrance to the vault was broken off when Malikos breached the Twisting Nether during the Nexus Wars. I feel the powers it holds resonating through the Nexus. There must be another way to reach the vault. Aha! That's... Wait a moment. The energy from the vault is surging. Brace yourself! Bad guy have the staff. Now let me see if I can find a way Ray, I walk into the explosions. It takes real skill to do that, by the way. Did I freeze him in place? Okay. As your ghost, do you wanna do you wanna help, bro? I feel like he was fighting and then stopped. If the weapon goes unchecked much longer, it will bring this whole place down around us. Quickly, we must head to the rift. It's the only way. Okay, just enough through this way. Thank you for walking to me slowly so I can get some hits in. Do I need to talk to him? No. Okay. <laughs> He's just... No, I'm just going to stand here now. Almost to 29. So that'll be nice. I need to target something first. Wait. Didn't there used to be a bridge here? I'm gonna have to ride you over there, bud. Fools! You may have destroyed the surge needles, but you are too late to stop us. The power of a will rip open the breach! 
Oh, great. More ethereals. It looks like they're channeling the energy from the vault into the breach. This is not good. Come! Time to show these ethereals that I still have a bit of fight left in me. I will bring whatever power I have to bear against the Nexus Prince. But in my weakened state, it falls upon you to finish this threat. I hope you are prepared. We'll find out. You are too late, interlopers. Nothing can stop me now. I have become void. Oh, crap. What the? <laughs> the Ethereum will rise again. Look, you're gonna cast? Damn. to remain on this side to keep it open. The way is clear. Hurry, little one. I can't keep this open for long. You made it. But to leave this place with the weapon, you must first gain control of it. Good luck. Place the first scroll, the second, and the third. I run through these. Do they hurt me? No mere mortal can grasp the wisdom of Alanath. I will not succumb to your paltry magics. Is the staff going to talk to me? Because that's kind of cool. Can't help but think about Excalibur from... Uh, Death Eater. There's a Soul Eater. There we go. I will not be contained. You are not. Oh, it's gonna knock me. Okay, good. You cannot succeed. Claim Alaneth. You fancy yourself as worthy to wield me as the previous guardian? That sounds like Matt Mercer. Child to me. You foolishly think you can control this power. So be it. Come, child. Let us wreak havoc upon your foes, and I shall see what you are made of. Work complete. I always like the cinematic look that they did for these. Well done. Alunith. The energies from the vault seem to be stabilizing. Now hurry back before the portal closes and you're locked inside. Running, 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 running. I'm out of range. I am impressed. Never have I seen a mage capable of controlling a lunar. I'm just built the different. Materials have been routed, and you have the weapon you came for. Your business here is finished. Mine, on the other hand, has just begun. I thank you for freeing me. You have given me the greatest gift of all. That of time. I will use that time to secure the Nexus. It must never again fall into the wrong hands. This portal will there take you, you back well, to Arcane Congress. intellect gift from me. Please give him my regards. All right. Okay, 
Back to the Violet Citadel. Dragonflight stands with you. You have my gratitude for saving Azurgos. I can rest easy knowing that the Nexus is under his care. As for you, I can see you're full of surprises. Never in my time have I seen a mage who could control the chaotic energies of Alan. Thank you for what you have done for me and my kind today. You are truly the hero we need to face the Legion. Remember your duty to Azurgos. Nice. One more level luck, to go. Champion. Critical mass. Since the power of the artifact you hold, it will do well against the Legion as it is, but you have the ability to unlock its power even further. You must return to the Hall of the Guardian. You can use the incantation I taught you before to pass through the rooms. Work complete. Oh, wow. They have been busy. This is cool as hell. Is that a troll? We got gnome. Little artifacts and knickknacks. Hey, got a Draenei. A little messy in here. It was cool to see the other side. I don't know if it looked like that before, but either way, it's really badass. I will help how I can. The Dreadlord, Catherine of Tears defeated, but only for now. Which is a... Oh, okay, no, that's the same thing. Honor the Tears. You learn quickly. I think Catherine of Tears will rue the day he made you his enemy. The Dreadlords must fall. Honor the Tears. The great Akazamzarak. There's a goblin who's a master of portals and teleportation by the name of Akazamzarak. His talents have gone mostly unnoticed, however, since he mostly uses them for chicanery. He is what you would call a street performer. Fortunately for us, he is performing in the streets of Dalaran, grifting coins from the unenlightened masses. Take this bag of gold. See if you can convince him to change vocations. The Dreadlords must fall. So, I'm wondering, like, is this all... Is that mana storm? Doesn't look like the armor that he has, but it gives me that energy. The eyes are different in here. Are they are they moving? Yeah, they are. That's creepy. Um. Yeah, I'm wondering. Like, am I free to go? You know, pick a location to start with in the Legion, or is this all the stuff that you had to do before you uh, unlocked your war table as a mage, at least?
Great Akazamzarak. Yeah, let's see. Is there a transmog? Or the alliance. Simply enchanting shop. Switch to this, so let's do Alaneth. Only one gold? What a steal! Because unfortunately, you compare, see, look, look at how much drops. Because it, it only it only levels with your gems, if I remember correctly. So it already puts it behind in competition with uh, an heirloom that levels up with you. And just look at that difference in stats. Minus 46 intellect, minus 15 stamina, minus 22 haste. So, such a bummer. It's going to be cool to at least be able to rediscover or discover for the first time if you've never played Legion before. How cool it was to have uh, that artifact. Now that's what I call a tip. Show's over, folks. Go on, scram. Get out of here, kid. You bother me. Step right up. You can say you've got my attention, pal. If you're looking to hire me on full time? Well, if the future payoffs or anything like this, I'd say you get yourself a deal. Tips are appreciated. Portals, teleportation? You bet I can help you with that. I mean, how do you think I pull the rabbit out of... Uh, you didn't hear that. Anyway, I can help you move your mages around if the price is right. Heck, I can even teach those combat mages a thing or two. Ever been on the receiving end of an exploding bunny? It ain't pretty. For starters, let me whip up a portal to take us to this hall you're talking about. Time Please let the portal time work. Time. All right, let's see if I can get a portal through these wards you're talking about. Piece of cake. See you on the other side. This is a goblin. So this is definitely going to fall in the trope of just like, boop, oh, we're, you know. We've actually been sent uh, somewhere else. Hey, it worked. Hey, 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 look at this. Nice place you got here. What knowledge do you seek? The only way to travel. God, I understand he may be unconventional, fail. but I think this goblin is exactly what we'll need to quickly get this new Tears Guard up to snuff for the task at hand. I've already sent word to many talented mages who can help. They await transportation to the hall where they can begin their new purpose. What up, Beware. get big, how you doing? Happy right, Thursday slash almost you weekend. Hope you're doing well. Do you think you can manage the portal? No sweat, chum. I'll get your mages here in a jiffy. Portals are good to go, boss. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna check out the things here. Mages of Azeroth. I have summoned you here because we face a threat to the future of the world itself. The Dreadlord, Kathranatir, has escaped into the Twisted I didn't have that one right either, Kathranatir. The secrets of the Council of Tirisfall. We must hunt him down in the Twisting Nether. Only then will we know his knowledge cannot be used against us. Will you join us? and take up arms against the Legion. It is done then. Yep, Mercer is Alaneth. We can just finally hear, yeah, just one more day, even though like it weirdly doesn't, doesn't feel like it, at least to me. You got any fun plans? Yes. Honor the Tears. The Tears Guard is reformed. It is time we begin our mission in earnest. The Order will need leaders, and though I may be an experienced mage, I am no strategist. You have proven yourself capable in both your past exploits and present. Will you take on this challenge? Receive your new title from Marrow Firestone. Beware the Nathrazine. Very well. Here, 
in presence of many of Azeroth's greatest mages. It is my honor to dub you Conjurer of the Tiris Guard. Actually, looked the this part with this guard. Symbolizes the awesome responsibility borne by the Tiris Guard. May you carry it with honor. It is time to meet with our new goblin ally in the war room. You can begin planning your next steps there. I have some personal business to attend to. It'd be so badass if there was like a level of WoW where it's like the world is this expansive, like MMO size or growing size, but the RPG-esque element of like maybe, you know, like Bioware type with like Mass Effect or Dragon Age. So you could get like really in depth, but throw in some Skyrim. So you'd have like different storylines you could do. Like, you know, if you want to go Mage Story, you could do that. You know, like if you could do fighters, you could do mage school, you could do thieves guild, you could do dark brotherhood, you know, like stuff, stuff like that. Yeah. So you're a conjurer now, huh? Fancy. We've got a good start with this terrorist guard thing here, but uh, I think we should keep up the recruiting if we actually plan on invading demon town. Fortunately for you, nobody negotiates contracts like a goblin. Now where'd that rabbit run off to? David Buster's tomorrow. Oh, nice. Saturday, considered going to St. Patty's Day Parade in town or hit a bar near the house. Big party drinking games, but not sure. I have plenty of options, especially with it being that weekend. I had almost completely uh, forgotten about that. But yeah, Dave and Buster's would be a lot of fun. Where'd he go? Use the scouting map to choose your first zone. That's really cool. All right, Azuna, Volshara, High Mountain, and Stormheim. Now I've seen it said that if you're trying to go like lore story-wise order, it's best to do Stormheim. Azuna, High Mountain, Valshara, and then, uh, then of course, you know, at the end, everything ends in Suramar, and then the raid stuff happens on the actual, was it called Broken Shore? I don't remember. So, boom, what was it? Boom, 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 boom. Which, like, some of it, like, it def definitely makes sense because some of the stuff, as you come across it, happens to be like, wait, I haven't done that yet. Because it's like, you did get the choice to pick where you wanted to go, but there were events that were fixed. So you'd have stuff happening and be like, wait, I don't know who you are. I was like, wait, this already happens? Um, and then you also have... Like, what happens in Valshara leads to, I think, what was, like, the first raid of Legion. So, it's like, and I definitely like more of, like, the storytelling stuff. Also, I can go anywhere that I want because I'm pretty sure. Do I have, I'm pretty sure I have Legion done. Yeah, Lore Master of Legion, so I don't have to worry about. You know, if we miss quests and stuff like that. So this is just for the uh, for the shits and giggles. But I think I'll do that. I think we'll do we'll do Stormheim. Yeah, let's do let's do Stormheim. War Chief Sylvanas Windrunner has prepared her personal fleet to set off to the bluffs of Stormheim to locate the Aegis of Agrimar. However, this land serves as the capital of an ancient Vrykul clan whose leader also seeks the power of the Aegis and will stop at nothing to take its power for himself. I am going to have to deal with running around with the Thanos' hating ass, but... Ugh. It's not long. 
storytelling. And the, the stories are really cool for Legion. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. That was when I came back for like for real, for real. Because I was doing, I was playing off retail for like Cataclysm. I didn't do any miss. Um, was Legion after Miss of Pandaria? No, Warlords of Draenor. And I, I came in and I did like a month of Warlords of Draenor, like towards the end, because I had started to see trailers for Legion. So I was playing around for for a little bit in that as Warlords of Draenor was dying down as far as like segueing in. And then like Legion went hardcore into Legion. Like chasing after unlocking the Nightborn and everything, doing the dailies. Like the hardest I had played WoW since probably Burning Crusade. Cause like I played Wrath of the Lich King, but around that time, all of like my college buddies and everything weren't really playing as much. Um and definitely wasn't like finding guilds that matched the energy that I was looking for so burning crusade was definitely like the last one where i was like hardcore and like doing the raids and all that kind of stuff so like went hardcore to legion where it's like i need a break i'm burned out <laughs> and then came back for bfa was bfa right after legion i don't even remember but legion and bfa but like legion i definitely like i really enjoyed how it all played out BFA was more of just like getting lost in the gameplay. Wasn't as much into the story because it was kind of a bummer to go back from like, wait, so we literally just fought or did it go? Wait, no. Yeah, it went Warlords of Draenor into Legion. Yeah. So then it's like, so we literally just went through like defending Defending the world twice, like once from like an alternate universe horde, and then a second one from huge burning legion attack. Lost a lot of leaders and everything, and it's like, you know what we should do? Let's fight each other all over again. <laughs> it was just like, what? Work complete. Pick a card, any card. I can get started recruiting. You can get taken the fight to the demons. Yeah, I know I'm letting you take the easy part, but hey, what are friends for? Time is mana, friend. All right, travel to Dalaran. Well, technically, I could teleport, but I just want to follow wherever the quest is taking me. So I've had too many times in the past where I'd be like, oh, I'll just go to Dalaran, I'll teleport. And then the quest doesn't register that you, you did exactly what you were already supposed to do. Oh, what's up, Meryl? What knowledge do you seek? Meet Meryl Firestorm in the Hall of Guardian. What? The you dread help again? I just left. What? Hold on. Let's let's start working on Stormheim. Cause I I want to get into like, you know, actually doing some quests and stuff. Not that the stuff we were doing weren't quests, but like, let me at least touch the ground of the the Legion uh, expansion as opposed to just like running around doing errands. Let me go run around and do errands while fighting demons. There's a difference. All right. What do you want, grumpy pants? Ooh. Nathanos glances over at you, pausing for a moment before acknowledging your presence. Yes. <clears throat> Greetings. I'm here on behalf of Lady Sylvanas Windrunner. I should hope you recognize the name. But Thanos thrusts a sealed envelope into your hand. Read it and follow me. You can read, can't you? For the dark. I never man. understood what the point of, like, having the Thanos just be such an ass. Champion. As your new like, there's a point, at least for me, to I where it's like, we get it. Like, when it's a ham-fisted trope. To that end, my fleet is preparing to sail for the Broken Isles. When you set foot in Stormheim, you shall have the full power of the Forsaken at your uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Let's just go to Durtar. There we go. Work what complete. is it? What are we if not... As you can see, we have spared no expense <laughs> in showing our support of your final 
Your great quest. Final preparations are being made. Come, walk with me. Are you familiar with the Vrykul? Towering, brutish warriors from an ancient stock. Subtlety is not a value they hold in high regard. Their legends speak of the Aegis of Agrimar. To claim it, one must undergo some kind of trial. One must be... worthy. The new catapults are faster and more powerful than ever before. I have our goblin allies to thank for that. Truthfully, Stormheim holds another treasure. One that I will be pursuing by my own means. I trust you are more than capable of handling whatever trials stand between you and the Aegis. What do you- Nathanos has been training a new generation of rangers. They represent both our past and our future. They gotta salute them. I think often about our future, hero. My people cannot reproduce. Are we not destined then to wither away eventually? No. The Forsaken will never stop fighting. Not while I reign. Not when there are still beings out there with the power to stop death. News from Captain Dreadwake, my lady. They have found the temple. The Oblivion is landed nearby. They are building fortifications now and will be ready to lay siege at your command. Good. Send a bat. Tell them we are leaving shortly. What joy is there in this? Do you understand curse? the gravity of our task? If we do not fight for our future, we will not have one. We are the Forsaken. Preparations have we been made and we are ready to set sail. We will strike out at way. once. Do not dally, or you will be left behind. I mean, I can already teleport there. Oh, that's right. We gotta deal with cranky ass Greymane. God, he's so annoying. It was first introduced, it was so interesting, and then I felt like it just became like this one note. Rah! Sylvanas! Damn it! We're sitting ducks out here! Show yourselves, you cowards! I the Alliance will be upon us soon, and we have nowhere to run. Organize our defenses beginning with the rear. I want bat riders in the air and catapults at the ready. My queen, your safety must be our first concern. Surely we can leave a few ships behind to... Do not question me, Nathanos. Now go. Make for the Eternity and bring this hero with you. Yes, of course. Come along, hero. A single gunship? Are they insane? This is like, Griffin's I can't see Anduin sanctioning this. Like, how did Bro not lose some of his status after this? All right, catapult time. Too high up. And we are frozen. You're frozen, you're frozen. Can I hit them? Pretty ballsy to just drop the mage down there like that. Oh, come on, let's see if we can't lead these shots. There we go. I don't know if there's a number I'm supposed to hit. I got two out of the four. Oh, 
I also wonder if there's, if it's set, there's nothing I can do to stop the mage from freezing. Like, I feel like the mage is supposed to get in my face. I feel like none of that damage was really registering. Come on. Cause I'm assuming this is all supposed to be retaliatory. The bold fools are boarding my ship after what Come happened. On. But I always felt like even though I was still, like, when I was playing this fresh first time, I was enjoying it. There was definitely already, like, a sense of, like, feeling really bummed. Uh, with how it happened, they don't really... Like, it's just like, oh, this happened, and the horde looks like bad guys, and we're not even gonna uh, address this any kind of way of, you know... No one trying to explain. You asked. 